Well, uh, didn't we all just uh, once say that uh, if someone can't do this, how do you expect me to do it? I'm sure everyone did that always, or like at least once in your life. Well, let me tell you a barrier in life that someone overcame it and did the impossible to break it. There was a thought that no one could control their body temperature with their mind. There was this one person known as Win Hoof. He's known as the Iceman. What did he do? He swam in frozen water. He ran on the ice caps of Finland. And guess with what? With shorts. Would you do that? I'm 100% sure no one would want to do that. But he could control his body's temperature. He changed the ideology of the world. By breaking this barrier, he showed the world that even the word impossible says I am possible. Why aren't we the one to be the first people to break the barrier? Why do we always wait for others to do something for us and then we follow them? Why can't we have our own paths in life? We live in a world right now where we have the methodology of you judge people based on how successful they are, based on what do they achieve in life. Success is not next door. Many people think that if they open the door, go to the next one, you're successful. Well, it's not. Or if you're like sitting on your bed, success is gonna come and be like, hey, I'm here. No. You have to work hard for it. You have to achieve it. Being comfortable does not mean being successful. They're two opposite things. Being successful is the opposite of being comfortable. You need to work hard in order to achieve. If you think working 18 hours a day means being successful, well, that also does not mean being successful. You're going to be like, well, I'm working hard. You can work for 30 minutes and you can be more successful than a person who works 24 hours a day. If you make the right decisions at the right time, choose the right steps, follow the right path. Even if you fail, even if you take the wrong path, it's fine. If you fail to overcome an obstacle or a barrier in life, consider it as a life lesson or an experience. And if you're able to overcome it and achieve, well, you've then, you've got an achievement. Never, never choose a job because it's highly paid. Many people nowadays in this generation follow the most paid jobs. Well, let me tell you one thing. Think about it this way. What if the country's economy fails and then you're not able to work for that field or in that field. Why don't you chase what you love? If you do what you love and what you like, you will definitely achieve what you want. You can do the impossible to achieve what you want. Now, as students, I'm 100% sure all of you were in school behind the desk. I also was once there. We always, before we have a quiz or a test, we just raise our hand and go like, sir, what's coming in the quiz? Okay, you should expect, he will never answer you that. I once had a teacher, we kept on asking him, sir, what if this question comes? What if that question comes? He used to go like, if is a very big word, choose, specify, what do you want to know? And I'll let you know. You need to set goals in life. You need to know what do you want to do. If you just go with the methodology of if and if, if is the biggest barrier we create for ourselves. Barriers can be obstacles and there are mostly the thoughts that we create for ourselves the word if it's two letters but trust me it's the biggest obstacle you're facing in your life you cannot find worse than that now let's say if you're going to have an exam coming up soon why do you wait till the last moment and you decide to study and then if you don't do good you go like oh i should have studied why didn't you study from the beginning People work really hard and get out of their comfort zones in order to help us achieve. Unfortunately, many kids from this generation, I have seen, they think that whatever they want, they'll get it just by a phone call or asking for it. But they don't know that people actually work hard to give them that because they've been spoon fed throughout their whole life. If you stop spoon feeding them, then they'll understand or they'll value it or they will never value it. Another thing that causes us to have great barriers in life and never succeed is one thing that everyone does it. It's called procrastination. So many researchers define procrastination as self-handicapping. It's like you have everything, but you handicap yourself. 
Let's say you have an assignment or a task to do. You go like, oh, okay, it's 10 a.m., I still have time. You know what? I'm gonna use my phone for five minutes. Five minutes becomes 10, 10 becomes an hour, an hour becomes two, and two moves on to the next day. And you realize the assignment is due in five minutes. What are you gonna do? Can you do anything? No, it's too late. And when you realize it's too late, you can't do anything about it. You should have thought about that from before. Procrastination never gets us anywhere. Everyone procrastinates. I had uh, maybe like a midterm on Wednesday and I procrastinated till the last minute, till the last minute, until I realized I forgot two questions in the midterm. I would have been able to solve them if I did not procrastinate. Breaking barriers in life, you might think that, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. No, it's sometimes your thoughts. You just have to stop thinking in order to, uh, you have to stop questioning yourself. You have to go like, what if I had this? What if I had that? Why don't you look around, see what you have? And from what you have, you gain, you achieve. If you wanna stop breaking barriers, you need to stop seeking motivation. If you wanna break them, you have to stop seeking motivation. You have to look for commitment, not motivation. You have to stop the word if. Yes, it's made out of two letters, but trust me, if you remove that world from your life, you're going to have a complete different life. You need to stop procrastinating. Surround yourself with, pes with optimistic people, not pessimistic. Try to push away the negative people, the negative thoughts. Stay on the positive sides. And trust me, you'll realize the path uphill is way easier than the path downhill. Thank you.